The battle between former governor of Imo State, Rocha Sokorocha, and Hope Ozodima is far from being over. We know um, current happenings in the state. Um, Hope Ozodima has vowed to um, uh, um, seize properties that were built by Rocha Sokorocha on the basis that um, they were allegedly proceeds of looted funds from the state, that he used them looted funds from the states to erect those structures, some as schools, hotels, and um, even university, you know, the Eastern Palm University. So the, the battle between them is still ongoing. This morning, the news broke out that Rocha Sokorocha raced to Abuja, to the villa, to see presidency, to see President Muhammad Buhari, how he can intervene. And, you know, when he was speaking with the State House correspondent, he was um, he kept asking them questions that what has he done? Why is Hope Ozadima after him? That he feels that um, some persons are using Hope Ozadima against him because they, there's no tangible thing that they've stated that he has done. And um, he's hoping that presidency will uh, step in and intervene. In the meantime, we know that um, um, Rocha Sokorocha's in-law, the person of Uche Uwosu, is someone who has some um, standing battle um with um hope Ozodima. you know both of them were the candidates of the all progressive congress during the 2019 governorship election in Imo state um rocha sokorocha was seriously pushing for his in-law to um take over seats and then uh, we know how everything played out i don't know what sort of manipulation what trick or whatever apc did that the supreme court finally declared Hope Ozodima as the governor of the state. So we know that there is a still there's still um some um standing um beef between him and even Uche Owosu to the extent that um there is a court case, you know the Philip Umedi versus Hope Ozodima case. That case is seeking is asking the Supreme Court basically to interpret his judgment, his earlier judgment, wherein he disqualified Uche Owosu, you know, and if a candidate is disqualified from um uh, running in any election the party itself gets disqualified you know that's the the norm that's what how it happens even um with INEC we've seen different scenarios like that it happened in River State as well APC had two candidates and then um, they had issues at the end of the day they were disqualified and they had no candidate that was how PDP emerged the winner of um, River State governorship election bringing Amnei um, some wiki so Philip Umedi that case is still there uh, um, speculations are ongoing that it could be because of um, that case why Hope Ozodima is really lashing out seriously on Rocha Sokorocha and everyone concerned to Rocha Sokorocha even um, the in-law um, Uche Uwosu who was um, also um, contesting alongside with him Right now, the news we're getting is that um, Hope Ozodima has uh, um, stated that he was going to be moving in to demolish uh, Westbrook Hotel. That Westbrook Hotel has some connections um, with um, um, Uche Owosu. Let's record that Uche Owosu was um, a former commissioner for lands in Imo State. And um, the allegation said before him is that um, he used a lot of lands for himself and his family members, Rocha Sukorocha as well so hope Ozadima is really really going out after them we'll get you all of the details um, in a moment um the people of Imo state nigerians have reacted to all that um, hope Ozadima is doing at the moment and guys let's not get it um, mixed up or twisted um if these guys if they've really really looted Imo state yes then they should they have to forfeit everything and return all the looted funds back to the state if that is what um rocha sokorocha has done you know this morning when he was speaking when he went to um the state house when he was speaking with um the state house correspondent at the villa he was stating that uh, before he was governor he, he sounded very very proud that he stated that before he was governor he was rocha sokorocha after being governor he's still rocha sokorocha meaning that before he became governor he was wealthy at some point, he even stated that um, being a governor was a sacrifice to him. So it wasn't um, of benefit. I don't know why he made that comment. Anyway, guys, we'll find out uh, all that uh, Hope Ozodima is said to do against um, Uche Owosu, the in-law to Rocha Sokorocha. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, hit on that notification bell. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. The family of former governor of Imo State and senator representing Olu Zone, Senator Rocha Sokorocha may be facing new problems with Senator Hope Ozodima's administration as Ozodima set to move against Uche Owosu's Westbrook.
Hotel. The decision by Ozodima's government to move on Uche Owosu's hotel is backed by a report by a judicial panel of inquiry, which, amongst other things, listed a hotel for seizure by the Imo State government. Uche Owosu was a former commissioner for lands in Imo State and allegedly amassed a lot of lands for himself and his family members. The 281-page report, amongst other things, listed Westbrook Hotel as part of the land mapped out for the new government house, hided amongst Okorocha's friends and family members. The recommendation of the panel penciled the affected buildings, including Westbrook Hotels, for demolition. Ozodima had earlier sealed the Royal Spring Palm Hotels owned by Ikechi Rocha Sokorocha as recommended by the panel and is also making arrangements to move against the Rocha's Foundation School and Okorocha's private residence Spipat, which were also mapped out in the report for demolition or outright takeover by the government. Uche Owosu following the attack on himself, his brother-in-law Uzodima Onoka, as well as his father-in-law, Senator Rocha Sokorocha, had headed to Supreme Court, joining the suit filed by Philip Umedi's son seeking to sack Hopo Zodima as Imo governor, basing their argument on a ruling by the same Supreme Court that ruled that Uche Owosu was a candidate of both the APC and AA in the 2019 governorship election. Ozodima, however, doesn't seem bothered by the suit, neither does he seem deterred to recover every state property looted by Korocha and his family members. So, um, but this demolition, oh, that's the part I don't understand. If um, they, they say that um, a, a, a property or a building was um, built by looted funds, is it to demolish it that will bring um, um, the, the, that, that will enable the people of um, the states to get back what they've lost. I don't understand the part of um, the demolishing. Uh, but I'm not supporting any form of corruption. If they looted, yes, they have to return everything back to the state. But hope was Adima going about demolishing, demolishing. It costs a lot to demolish. And number one, we are demolishing, you are you are destroying. Those properties can be turned into something else. They can be used for something that will benefit the state. That is just my standard, is my opinion anyway. Um, Nigerians have reacted. Someone says that why should a government or a governor demolish well-built structure? Why not create opportunities, employment for the people? That is all I just stated now. That yes, fair enough, if they found that they've done all the... Uh, investigations and the competent court have proven that um, these buildings were built out of um, looted proceeds. No, demolition should not be the the uh, the way out. I know instances where they demolish properties is only if they were used in committing criminal activities, maybe kidnapping or people were killed in that property, they bring it down. But if you're talking about loots, I don't think demolishing is the solution to it. Another one says, Okorocha was too reckless. How can you convert government lands and properties to your own? Somebody must check these impunity and excesses very well. It must be checked. No one is against um, Okorocha being checked. You know, right now the case is even in court, but we're just hoping that the, 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 the competent court will do um, justice and hope that uh, we hope that justice is served. But the only part I'm coming from is why demolishing it. Anyway, guys, let's hear your take. Um, if you feel demolition is the, is the best way out, let us hear your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless